Hi, this is Thompson Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. Today, Robbie, we're talking about a classic. Oh yeah, the Asics Gel Keanu 30. Is it Kayano or Kayano? I think it's Kayano. Uh, isn't that what I said? I, don't, I thought he said something else. <laughs> I thought I said Kayano. I don't know. Kayano every, every 30. Kiss, every kiss begins with Kayano. It seems weird because Robbie's always bringing up kissing when he's with me. I don't know Just if it's like a hint. Natural reaction. All right, Robbie. So this is a stability shoe. It's on its 30th edition. If you don't know about the Kayano, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. It's a legend in the stability game. I, the Kayano now is like... The old versions are now cool again. Don't you they have, are. Don't you have one of the versions? I do have one of the versions. Okay. And, and another thing, you might notice a gleam on us during this video. It's because our air conditioning broke, and we're coming to you live from the surface of Hades. Yeah, we're bringing bringing it back <laughs> to the to old school. Well, before we get into it, Robbie, let's talk a little let's bit. Let's, yeah, let's talk a little bit about the fact that we used to have the regular Gel Kayano. Yeah. And then we had the Kayano Light, mm -hmm. and they were kind of like going like this, and now they just went whoosh. Yep, put them both together. So yeah, we're here, and it, again, yeah, this is really combined to form a singular unit. Uh, what's the the one thing that you notice about this shoe from past versions of the Kayano? What's, what stands out or doesn't stand out? What I'm not seeing, you mean? Exactly. You're not seeing that visible technology of gel <laughs> cushioning. Yeah, the gel is no longer in here, which was a kind of a big deal for Asics. Well, it is in here. I mean, it is in here. It's not the naked eye. Yeah, the there's it's not showing anymore. So, which is a, kind of a big deal for them to do because they, it's there's almost like that attachment point of seeing the gel that they felt was like very important for the consumer. I'm gonna tell you down the road, might be years from now. It's coming back. Yeah, we'll see yeah, it again for sure. Anyway, it might be next year. It's tucked in here. It's in a little pad in there, and uh, you can feel it. Yes, yeah, so they have a pure gel pad inside the heel now. Um, adds a little bit of comfort, shock absor absorption. And they've also evolved with the guidance system in this shoe. Yeah. Instead of a light truss, we have now have the 4D guidance system, which like... And if you, but if you remember the dimension. light truss, it's a hard piece of plastic. Yeah, yeah. And now it's gone, but you know what they're doing? They use technology, they use computer modeling, they used all that kind of Mach stuff. We'll just say machine learning. Yeah. They, they like them. Those machines love to learn. Wider base, yeah. more stable heel. The way that the geometry works in the heel gives you some guidance through your stride. Mm -hmm. But what it feels like is a less obtrusive way to get the guidance. Again, the 4D system is now their thing. You already mentioned everything about that. Let's get into the performance of the shoe, or the upper, I guess we can start with that, and then get into the performance. I mean, the upper feels really familiar if you've been wearing any of the Kayanos or it's an upper. any of the Asics from the last year or so. It feels a lot like the Nimbus upper. I mean, it's just a nice mesh upper. It works, it fits. The breathability, it's about standard. It's nothing, it's not very airy, it's not very stifling. It's just about right. Moving on to the midsole, which is Flight Foam Blast Plus, but wait, Eco. So there is a sustainable element to this, which is whenever I hear the word Eco, I just know it's not gonna be as good. Well, when you say not as good, you're saying compared to like Flight Foam Blast Plus with just all the chemicals? Yeah, give me all the chemicals. So the whole thing with Eco, and it's the kind of problem I have with it. Whenever we see eco in a midsole and people are like, oh, it's more sustainable, use the recycled stuff. It's just never as good. Never has the, never as much bounce. I it's a compromise. Say. It is. It's a compromise to say it's eco. And with as many shoes as Asics makes of the Kayano, this is like the top seller. Anyhow, so that's, that's great news. And I know in their uppers, they use recycle uh, materials in there as well. They're trying to make a sustainable shoe, but I do agree with Robbie's point that you are making a big compromise when you go that route. Yeah, and I, that's actually not to say that it's a bad uh, midsole. It's actually nice and soft, comfortable. It provides, it's 40 millimeter stack in the heel, 30 in the forefoot, you get that 10, 10 millimeter drop between both men's and women's. It used to be different men's and women's, now it's the same. It's comfortable and nice. Our reviewers, both our stability guys, stability guys love the shoe, love the midsole. I'm just saying, if you think it's the Blast Plus that you're gonna find in like the Nova Blast. Even the Nimbus. Yeah. It's it's, it's not it's not quite the same so it doesn't have that mm, doing exactly which again it's a stability shoe you also don't really want that so it's not necessarily a bad thing I'm just putting it out there yeah another drawback on this shoe 
is for a size 10. Oh, the weight, yeah. Weighs 10.9 ounces or 311 grams. I mean, it's a chunky one for sure. Yeah, so, you know, we, we took it out. We actually went to the summit out in Boulder, Colorado, and we ran in it. And it was something that I was like, I've gotten so in love with the Super Blast and even the Nimbus, which isn't a light one, but it, with that bounce, it feels a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. This one did feel like a little more work, you know, maintaining paces. But I have to say for a stability shoe, I really like yeah, it. Yeah, it feels a lot more neutral than your typical stability shoe. I do like the wide base a lot. I think that's really nice, provides a great platform for landing and that stability factor that you're looking for. Um, again, our stability reviewers really like that part about the shoe. They thought it felt more like a neutral trainer than a stabi traditional stability shoe. When yeah. we're reviewing this shoe, this isn't our ch choice lane. We will review a stability shoe so that we know what it's about. We don't love running in stability shoes. We don't like stability shoes so much. Except, except for the Saucony Tempest, I did love that shoe, but it's a, it's just a different shoe. Right. Like if it's you, the same sort of idea behind this though, where it's more of a guidance shoe than a you yeah. know, traditional posting on the medial side. But I think if you need more support and more uh, structure, I think this is gonna be better than the Tempest. It's gonna provide more, but still have like a neutral daily trainer feel, which is yeah. nice. You may not dig this colorway as much as, you know, Everybody's like black and mustard. Yeah, I actually think this colorway sucks, but Okay, just... I didn't want to say that, but Robbie <laughs> will go with it. Um, right. and we took pictures, Megan had an all white pair that she's taking on tour for the hydration tour. So I took pictures of those this morning. Roll that beautiful bean footage, oh, okay, because yeah. there's some photos here that you can check out. Look at that, that's beautiful. There's, oh, yeah, Robbie, I've, say, I've seen some on- It's gonna be over you right now, so okay. say wow. Okay. wow. Wow, wow. I've, I've seen some versions on Running Warehouse too that are like way better than this. Yeah, Anyways. so there are some better looking models than this particular one. It's a good shoe. If I needed stability, I'd probably think it was a great shoe, but as somebody who doesn't use stability shoes and prefers mm. neutral and prefers a balance see pop yeah this ain't for me as a neutral runner obviously I'm not gonna be running in this but I think for I'm going off the reviews that our stability guys said the people that are pros that really need it they love the shoe love the feel of it and everything else obviously you're probably not doing tempo work in a 11 ounce shoe for a daily trainer or like a long haul shoe and it's gonna get you a lot of miles I mean this, I mean this is a mileage guy they got this a heart plus rubber in the heel regular a heart in the mid um, for the rest Four of the foot. rubber. It's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a short-term shoe. You're gonna have this for a while. All right, Robbie, I think that pretty much wraps this one up. I know you're feeling like hell. You may have Lyme's disease, who I, knows? Yeah, I'm go, leaving to get my antibiotics in a second. Super Robbie, 2.0. I know, I th if you take probiotics with antibiotics, does that like cancel each other out? Oh, Just you might be battling that. in your stomach. Maybe so I shouldn't eat yogurt in the next couple of days? I don't think you should do anything. All right. You should just sleep. We forgot to say how much this costs is uh, $160. $160? Yeah, which right. is like how much all stability shoes cost apparently. And like anything above, like you have the 120 shoes and then you jump up yeah. $160. So. Where we are. But this shoe is not going to die and you're going to have plenty of mileage in it. I might, so but shoe won't. Yeah, Robbie's going out. <laughs> You guys, send send your notes now about how much you love this yeah, guy. De definitely he needs that, my, he needs that positive energy going in. DM me on Instagram nonstop. Just kidding, don't. You're going to get it now. I know. Thanks for watching this review. Make sure you follow us on all our channels, Instagram, Strava. Uh, what's that other one? Oh, yeah, listen to our podcast, The Drop of Jewel for the Soul. Yeah, maybe just tell a friend, hey, I watched this channel. You should watch it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Uh, I'm not sure when this comes out, hopefully next week, but July 20th at the office, we're having our Believe, or, uh, Believe in Run grit, Summer Grit Party. And you can try this shoe. Oh yeah, perfect timing. You can try this shoe, we're gonna have some giveaways, some awesome stuff, beers, pizza, all the things. CLA you, hats. Everything you want in life. Asics t-shirts. So we'll put the link uh, for that in the description. So yeah, hope to see you there. Yeah, right. also Meg's out on that hydration tour. I knew you were ready to go. Yep. But like check our local listings because she might be in your town with Megan Featherston. Get hydrated. Hydration tour with Asics. And again, they're gonna be giving out stuff and mm -hmm. it's gonna be a good time. So Scratch, bring your, own, uh, bring your own mixer mm -hmm. um, or not. Mm -hmm. Depends what kind of person you are. All right, that's it. That's it. There used to be this Sony Exit Planet Earth. No, there's a Sony PlayStation game where PlayStation One where you were just 
basically cruised through these tunnels that looked like they were just made to do drugs. On. Like it was just a sh like a rocket ship that cruises through tunnels, <laughs> and the whole soundtrack is chemi chemical. I do brothers. remember this show it was like uh, no, I think the you, whole is either Chemical Brothers. That show, um, Crystal Method. Crystal Method. Yeah, yeah. it was those. Uh, you get the spaceships, and you could yes. get the different. Like you, if you, the more you did, the more parts to the do spaceship. Remember, do you remember I do this? remember this game. It was yeah. that was purely made for people to do drugs, right? Yeah, so nothing to do with this shoe, right. but a trip down Robbie's memory lane. Anyways, bring me back, give me some chemicals.